Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. The Federal Reserve is looking into developing a digital currency in the U.S., Powell confirms. The U.S. central bankers have explored the possibility of developing a digital currency that would be directly available to businesses and households. We have assessed and we continue to carefully analyze the costs and benefits of pursuing such an initiative in the U.S., Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell wrote in a letter to lawmakers this week in September uh, the reps French Hill and Bill Foster said the central bank should consider a U.S.-backed cryptocurrency to remain competitive. So I think we will see that and it will be exciting to see what they base it off of. Time will tell. China is launching its national blockchain network in 100 cities, proponents say it will, do, will reduce the cost of doing blockchain-based business by 80%. A few things in the article that I wanted to go over, which I found pretty interesting. As you have, for instance, JD.com, one of China's largest online stores, uses blockchain tech to verify its supply chain to customers and business partners who had worried the retailer was n selling knockoff versions of luxury brands. The company recently made its platform open source. China's General Administration of Customs uses blockchain to monitor 26 international border crossings. That is VeChain, and it is one of the two approved uh, cryptocurrencies in China. And then they go down to mention... Um, Where was it? Give me a moment as we scroll down. Let's do it a little smoother instead of so bouncy. We had uh, the European Union has been trudging toward a blockchain platform for years, and IBM, Facebook, and other tech companies have already launched their own versions. And we know IBM runs on Stellar, and we know that Facebook was basing its uh, currency off of a stronghold which runs on Stellar. There was another thing in here too. I must have passed it. Either which way, it was discussing WeChat and Alipay. And we know those are connected uh, back to XRP and Ripple. So there we have that. Let's move on. The fintechs designed to thrive in the face of a lockdown. Um, you have this right here going on, I'm going to circle, but either which way, it's unex it is expected to fundamentally change the way customers interact with their banks, retailers, and other service providers, and fintech businesses which were built to operate in a fast-moving digital-first economy are particularly well-placed to meet their demands through the crisis and beyond. Since the onset of the virus, businesses have had to grapple with how to protect their staff and customers uh, from infection, which has meant to a large degree facilitating remote working arrangements and digital customer service delivery. At the heart of this fundamental shift is the need to have robust, resilient, and flexible technology infrastructure and can support this new way of doing business. And that is the great thing with digital assets and cryptocurrencies. As you don't have to touch them, it's instantaneous. No one else will touch your computer or phone but you as you send and or receive them. So it does make the business of banking a great deal more flexible. XRP to witness a slew of incoming drops as the death cross unveils itself throughout the article they're saying it basically had uh, two options it was either going to uh, basically maintain or um, drop down to possibly around 12 cents uh, might as well just scroll down so you can see the charting we'll just let it scroll a little bit here um, you can see let me pause it as it has that little downtrend going um, I think the projection is, there we have it, is 6%, as high as 16.75% um, is the drop that's projected for the uh, death cross.
Might as well read that. It says, in addition to all of the above, the bearish scenario seems more plausible due to the formation of the death cross. A death cross is when the 50-day moving average crossover under the 200-day moving average. In this case, the yellow line going under the blue, the death cross typically signifies a greater bearish pressure. Conclusion is optimistically XRP could just drop 6% bounce. However, the more probable scenario would be a drop of 6% and its continuation to a 17% drop down to 12.74 cents. Um, I think after you've been here a while, um, those are really irrelevant. They're just basic buying opportunities if you're buying the dip for your uh, cost averaging on your dollar averaging or for your investment. We're going to finish up this video with a final thought. Work hard in silence. Let your success be the noise. Again, guys, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love to all of you and keep safe and we'll catch you in the next one.